Hey everybody, Jake here for American Trucks, and in this video, we're taking a look at the MGP front and rear brake caliper covers in red with the Bowtie logo, fitting 2019 and newer Silverado 1500s. If you're looking for an easy way to spice up your Silverado without having to spend a fortune or a ton of time to do it, then these caliper covers from MGP will do just the trick. They feature solid construction and good looks for a really good price. Caliper covers can be a very controversial topic in the automotive realm. Some people love them, others hate them, but I think they have their place. These are an easy aesthetic upgrade that have a few other fringe benefits too. Now let's get something straight right away though. These aren't gonna improve braking performance. They're really just the easy button to making your truck look a little bit cooler. And let's be honest here, who among us hasn't done something just because it looks cool? So these in particular, I think are really interesting because they feature this bright red finish. This is that classic red color that people love to paint their calipers because frankly, it just looks great. Now these ones in particular feature this bright red finish. It's a classic look and they have the engraved Chevy Bowtie logo smack dab in the center here. Now MGP has been at this for a long time and as such, they offer a few different options for engraving here and a few different colors as well. So be sure to check out the other options they offer on the site to get the set that's gonna work best with your build and suit your taste properly. So again, this is the classic bow tie outline, the ever popular bright red. This is a great way to dress up your truck without having to make any permanent modifications. So let's say you got a leased truck or you don't wanna spend an entire weekend painting your calipers and then letting that paint dry. I've done that, it kinda of stinks. These are gonna get you that look that you're after with as little fuss as possible. And while these are mostly for show, there is actually a functional benefit here as well. Since these are gonna cover the front side of your calipers, so the side that is closest to your wheel, they're gonna help keep some brake dust off of the wheels as well. Now that's not to say that they're gonna cut down on the amount of brake dust that's being produced. Rather, they're just gonna deflect it from hitting the faces of the wheels. So you get the dual benefit of them making your wheel and tire setup look cool, and they help keep things a bit cleaner too. One thing to note regarding fitment though, is that these are gonna require at least three millimeters of clearance, or about the size of two stacked quarters between your brakes and your factory wheels. So make sure you check your clearances before you buy, especially if you're running smaller diameter wheels. Now the covers themselves are made from aerospace grade 6061T6 aluminum and are of course finished off in that bright red powder coat for good looks and added protection. Plus they come with everything you need to get them installed on your truck, but we'll cover that more in a moment. Pricing comes in at about $300 and while that's not the least expensive option in the category, it's really about the going rate. And if you want that look without having to shell out for all new calipers or deal with the hassle of painting your originals, these are a great way to get you the look without having to spend a ton of money or a ton of time on it. Speaking of your time, we're gonna give installation a one out of three for these and you can expect the job to take you about one hour to complete. The covers attach with the included clips and hardware, so it's really just a matter of popping your wheels off more than anything. Plus, they don't require any permanent modifications to your truck, so you can just take these off if you need to return things to stock at any time. With that though, let's hand things over to one of our AT customers who's gonna walk you through the install process. Before you get started, you wanna make sure that you have all the tools that you need. One thing that you'll need is the jack that came with your vehicle or something similar something to chalk your tires with, as well as the crowbar to um, remove the lug nuts from your vehicle. You also wanna make sure that you have all the parts that you need for the front and the rear uh, for your caliper covers. Uh, you'll also need a 3 8 inch, uh, either a socket or a wrench, and You'll need your instruction cards and any locking lug nut key. Today we're going to be installing the brake caliper covers on a 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500, both the front and the rear. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is chalk your tires that you're not um, taking off. So we're going to chalk the two front tires. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this, um, this caliper cover on. This is the larger one. Uh, it's for the rear. You can tell that because these two uh, things right here uh, are kind of offset at an angle. 
whereas the one for the front, they're more, they're more flat. So this is gonna go pretty much right here. But first we have to install these, um, these, these clamps right here and they go on pretty easy. So the first clamp we're gonna put on uh, down here between the rotor and the actual caliper, clips onto the caliper just underneath here and then snaps on just right on top. And then we'll do the other one up here. You're gonna wanna make sure that this uh, nut that goes on here is on the top. And then this hooked piece right here just comes under here like this and you just kind of work it a little bit so it snaps right on. Just like that. The other one's gonna go on top here in the same fashion. We're just gonna hook it under here. And we're just gonna push it until it snaps right into place, just like that. Okay, now that we have these in place right here, we're gonna take the, the nuts off. I'm just gonna hold on to those for a moment. And we're gonna take our caliper cover and we're just gonna put it right on top. So kind of start at an angle here a little bit, make sure that it goes over the screws and then it snaps right down into place like that. It doesn't really snap so much as it, as it just really nicely fits. And then we're gonna put these, these nuts right back on top. From here, we take our 3 8 inch and we tighten these up. And according to the instructions, we tighten them up to uh, 25 pounds. So, but don't over tighten. Get good and snug. Not a lot of play at the end here. And that's it. And it's nice and securely in place. Now, according to the instructions, there needs to be at least a, a gap of 0 0.013 inches uh, between the actual clip and the brake rotor. So between this clip and the brake rotor, there should be gap and as you can see there is enough of a gap so that the rotor will um, so, so it doesn't interfere with the rotor. It says to take uh, some a, a, a feeler strip just to make sure that there are no it doesn't stick uh, when, when trying to do that. So now that we have our brake caliper cover in place we're going to put the tire back on. Uh, this is probably the hardest part. Uh, all I recommend is when you lift the tire up just make sure that these posts are in alignment with the holes as you lift the tire up. So now that we're done with the rear tire, we're gonna do the front. But before we do the front, we're gonna remove the chalk and I'm gonna put it back on the back tire I just took off. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take our front clips, which look like this. And we're gonna come from the bottom down here and we're gonna get right under the, the uh, rotor right here and we're gonna clip it under the caliper uh, down here. And we're gonna do the same from up top where we're gonna take this hook end right here and place it up top until it snaps right into place like that. Very simple. And we're gonna do the same thing down below here. We're gonna come underneath. Put that into place just like that. And then push up top until it snaps. Very simple. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these nuts off here. Oops.
and then we're going to take our caliper cover and we're going to place it right here over those two those two screws right there that and that and it snaps into place it already feels nice and tight and then all we got to do is take these nuts again and put these on kind of like to get them started by doing rotating them kind of clockwise until I feel it click into place and then once it's in place then I rotate clockwise to tighten Then I'm going to take my 3 8 inch wrench and I'm going to hand tighten these to 25 pounds or until snug without over tightening. And the last thing is just repeat the same steps that you did for this side of the vehicle on the other side of the vehicle. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the MGP front and rear brake caliper covers in red with the Bowtie logo fitting 2019 and newer Silverado 1500s. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, for all things Silverado, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.